So along with the different surface types, pools come in all different shapes and sizes. You'll have your standard rectangular pool. You'll also have oval pools out there on your route. And then you'll have the freeform pools, which are kind of like an oval pool and a rectangular pool, but they don't have any straight edges to them. And we call those freeform pools. So one of the important things about the pool size is how many gallons of water are in that pool. We need to know the gallons of water so that we can dose the pool properly with chemicals when we need to bring certain levels up in the pool. And you also need to know the pool size so you know how long to run that pool to get the water circulating in that pool. I mentioned that filtration, circulation, and chemistry are really important factors in keeping a pool from turning green or getting algae in it. And knowing the pool size is really important for chemical dosing and also for that circulation to know how long to run the pump to get the water through the filter. So how do you calculate the pool size? In the old day, we used to have formulas, length times width times a gallon of water. A gallon of water is 7.48, and this is very complicated. Now we're lucky to have modern apps that will calculate the size for you. So all you have to do is measure the length of the pool and also the width of it. I mentioned the freeform pools are a little harder to measure, so those you're gonna have to kind of guesstimate how long or how wide that pool is based on the how it sticks out from the side. And this adds a little bit of difficulty to measuring those pools accurately. But as long as you get pretty close to the gallons in the pool, you're fine with calculating dosages later. And of course, in the old days, we had to get the average depth of the pool by taking the shallow end and deep end and dividing that. But with the modern apps, there's no need for that. You would just input the depth of the deep end and the shallow end, and then you would get the pool volume from the app. And so to get the depth of the pool, I just use my standard telescoping pool pole. I'll put it in the water and then I'll measure a mark on the pole and that'll be the depth of the pool at the shallow end, which is usually three feet. And then you would get the depth of the deep end the same way. And the depth of the deep end can be six feet, but it can go all the way down to eight, nine, or 10 feet deep. And I'll go over calculating doses later in the series. Basically, you can go on the internet Pentair has probably one of the best sites where you can enter in the information and get the pool size. So in this case, the deep end is 6 feet deep, the shallow end is 3 feet deep, the pool is 30 feet by 15 feet, and you just enter those numbers in, and then the app will actually calculate the pool size for you. And so the pool here is coming in at 15,200 gallons, and I think this is a really easy way to calculate pool sizes. Just put the app on your phone, and there's plenty of apps out there that will calculate the size of the pool for you. And then note on each account how many gallons of water is in that pool so that you can calculate the dosage, and you can also get an idea of how long to run that pool. The larger the pool, logically, you're going to have to run that pump longer to circulate the water. The smaller the pool, the less runtime is necessary to circulate the water. And you'll learn all of this, of course, with experience and dealing with different pool sizes and shapes out there on your route. Pool Service Pro, open a Leslie's Wholesale account today and receive wholesale pricing on products you use every day. Leslie's Pool Supply offers convenient locations that are open seven days a week. Another great benefit of opening a Leslie's Wholesale account is Leslie's referral program. Get referred to a customer looking for weekly pool service. Save time and money and grow your pool service route and become a Leslie's Pro.